Christmas was coming. All the kids in Scottsdale were very excited. They were going with their mommies and daddies to the toy stores to choose their gifts. The favorite toy of the season was a set of surprise eggs with some wild animals inside them. Surprise! Nikki and his sister wanted the surprise eggs with the animals too. So they asked their mommy and daddy to buy them as their Christmas presents. Yay! <laughs> but there was someone watching Nikki and his family. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. The thieves wanted to steal the kids' toys. And so they followed them to their house to see where they lived. Nikki and his sister couldn't wait to play with their surprise eggs. They took them to their playroom and took them out of the box. Then they blew the whistles that opened the eggs. Nikki and his sister cheered. These toys are so much fun. Nikki and his sister then washed their hands and ate their supper. Then they went to bed, feeling very excited. When Nikki and his sister woke up the next morning, the first thing they thought about was their new surprise eggs. But when they went to the playroom, they couldn't find the eggs anywhere. Nikki and his sister told their mommy and daddy about the missing surprise eggs. Nikki's daddy then dialed the police. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha rushed to Nikki's house. Nikki's mommy and daddy then told Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha about the missing surprise eggs. Nikki and his sister then gave Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha their whistles. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha then joined Officers Chiku and Chika at the police headquarters. Officers Chika and Cha Cha changed out of their police uniforms and wore street clothes. Then they rushed to the toy store. Connie and Gilly were at the toy store and Officers Cha Cha and Chika spotted them quickly. As the two thieves left the toy store, officers Chica and Cha Cha followed them out. Officers Chica and Cha Cha then sat on their bikes and went after Gilly and Connie on the cold and busy streets. It was a chilly day and snow was falling all over, but officers Chica and Cha Cha didn't stop. They kept following the thieves. After a while, Gilly and Connie stopped their bike in a faraway neighborhood. Officers Chica and Cha Cha parked their bikes and started following them on foot. Is someone following us? Connie said. Officers Chica and Cha Cha then hid themselves with a Christmas tree and hopped along the pavement. Gilly and Connie saw the tree moving and got a fright. They then ran all the way to their hideout. Johnny, silly, Gilly and Connie called. There's a tree following us. Officers Chica and Cha Cha looked into the thieves' hideout. 
they called Chief Choo Choo. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chiku joined Officers Chika and Chacha outside the thieves' hideout. They all then went in together. The police team saw Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie making plans to steal more toys from the Scottsdale kids. Chief Choo Choo then blew a whistle. The sound of the whistle opened many of the surprise eggs, and the animals inside them started to roar. Yikes! Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie yelled with fright. Then they started to hide. Officer Chiku arrested John, and Chief Choo Choo caught hold of Silly. But Gilly and Connie ran away. As Gilly and Connie were escaping, they saw someone in a red and white suit riding on a sleigh behind them. Yay! It's Santa! Gilly said. The Santa in the sleigh then pressed a button, and lots of gifts flew out of the sleigh's front and fell on Gilly and Connie. And then the gifts knocked Gilly off the bike and right into a trash can. Oh, ho, ho. the Santa, who was actually Officer Cha-Cha, laughed as he arrested Gilly. There was a surprise for Connie, too. A hook shot out from the sleigh and stopped him from going further. And there was a gift for him, too. It was a pair of shiny handcuffs from Officer Chacha, who was still disguised as Santa. The Choo Choo TV police had found the stolen toys and caught the thieves. Christmas was going to be merry once again. Joey were twins, which means they were born together. And since it was their birthday the next day, their parents went out to buy things to surprise them. It was a gang of four thieves, Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They always troubled the people. The thieves noticed Lucy and Joey's parents shopping. They saw them putting chocolates and candies into surprise eggs. The thieves even followed Lucy and Joey's parents home. Lucy and Joey's parents hid the surprise eggs. Once Lucy and Joey had fallen asleep, their parents decorated their room beautifully. At midnight, Lucy and Joey's parents woke them up. Lucy and Joey's parents then brought out the surprise eggs and surprised Lucy and Joey. Surprise! Happy birthday! Thank you! Lucy and Joey kept the eggs near a window and went back to bed. But Gilly and Connie were waiting there. The next morning, Lucy and Joey were shocked to see the window broken and the eggs missing. They told their parents to call the police. Chief 
Chuchi, and officers Chiku, Chica, and Chacha immediately rush to look for the surprise eggs. Soon the police team saw Gilly and Connie driving away with the eggs. But Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chica told them to stop. But Gilly and Connie zoomed ahead. Officer Chica quickly called the whole team and told them what to do. Gilly and Connie thought they had escaped. But suddenly, they found themselves surrounded by the police team. Now that the Choo Choo TV police had the surprise eggs, they called Lucy and Joey and their parents. Lucy and Joey were very happy to get their surprise eggs back. shared their goodies with everyone and even gave some to Gilly and Connie who felt terrible for stealing from such sweet kids. was a surprise eggs factory in Scottsdale. It made exciting surprise eggs for all the kids. And when the eggs were ready, it transported them in a truck. One day, the workers drove the truck through the streets as usual to deliver the eggs to the stores. But when they reached the stores, all the eggs were missing from the truck. The workers told the factory manager about what had happened. And the factory manager grew very worried. Where could the eggs go, he said, then dialed the police. We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! Chief Choo Choo and officers Chiku, Chica, and Cha Cha rushed to the factory. Chief Choo Choo looked at the truck and she found that its floorboard had been cut out. The police team then studied the route the truck had taken. and they found that it had stopped at a few traffic lights. Let's keep a watch at this light, Chief Choo Choo said. The police team went to the traffic light. They watched as the truck stopped there. Suddenly, they spotted a blind man walking on the crossroad. Chief 
Choo Choo realized that he was a thief. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. There was another thief there too. He was stealing the surprise eggs in the truck from a manhole. Chief Choo Choo realized that the thieves were underground. There was a railroad below the ground. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chiku climbed down while the officers Chika and Cha Cha brought two railroad cars. The police team then split up and went after the thieves. It was dark and scary underground, and the thieves had managed to go far ahead. But the Choo Choo TV police kept going after them. The thieves then played a nasty trick and threw logs on the tracks. But Officer Chica took the railroad car over them very skillfully. The thieves then did something very dangerous. They broke the wall so water would flow out and drench officers Chiku and Cha Cha. But officer Cha Cha turned the car sideways. Both the police cars then caught up with the thieves. And the thieves splashed colored water on the police team. Chief Choo Choo and officers Chiku, Chika, and Cha Cha then found a clever way to stop the thieves and separate their wagon from the thieves' car. All the stolen surprise eggs were saved! And the thieves too were brought to a stop. Chief Choo Choo and the officers then arrested the thieves. We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! There were some farms near Scottsdale. Young shepherds lived there with their sheep. Their names were Mary and Mark, and they took very good care of their sheep. When the sun set and it was time to go home, Mary and Mark would count the sheep to make sure that no one was missing. They would then leave the sheep in the pen and go home.
One morning, Mary and Mark went to the pen as usual. Mark began to count the sheep as he let them out. But as he counted, he noticed that two sheep were missing. Mark called Mary and told her about the missing sheep. The two kids then went to see if the sheep had wandered off to their neighbor Sam's farm. Sam counted the sheep in his pen to see if there were any extra ones. But as he counted, he realized that two of his sheep were missing too. Sam then asked his neighbor, Ben, to count the sheep on his farm. But as Ben counted, he found that some of his sheep were also missing. Mary, Mark, Sam, and Ben grew very worried. They ran all over the hills and meadows, looking for their sheep. But the young shepherds just couldn't find the sheep anywhere. Mary, Mark, Sam, and Ben waited all day, hoping that their sheep would show up. But there was no sign of them, even when the sun set and it was time to go home. Mary and Mark were so sad that night that they just couldn't sleep. And so they waited by the sheep pen. Suddenly, the sheep in the pen grew very frightened. And then Mary and Mark saw two long tails that were orange and black. Tigers! There are tigers in our pen! <laughs> Mary cried. They are attacking our sheep! Mary and Mark then ran home and told their daddies about what they had seen. The next morning, everyone went to the pen. They noticed that more sheep were missing. The two daddies then called the Choo Choo TV police. Chuchu and officers Chiku, Chica, and Cha Cha rushed to Mary and Mark's farm. Then they went to the sheep pen to investigate. The police team examined the fences. They found that all the fences were very sturdy. Chief Choo Choo then came up with a secret plan. Later that night, Chief Choo Choo and the others returned with someone else. It was Detective Snarl, the police dog. The police team then went to the sheep pen to keep watch. Suddenly, everyone saw some men in tiger costumes enter the pen. <gasps> Detective Snarl leaped into the pen. He barked at the men ferociously. The men were actually thieves and Chief Choo Choo recognized them immediately. It was a gang of four thieves. 
Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. The three thieves began to run. And so the police team ran after them. Soon Chief Choo Choo and the officers found a river in front of them. They grabbed vines and swung across. While Detective Snarl hopped on the rocks, the police team found the thieves' hideout. They saw the missing sheep there. The thieves were putting them in a truck. Chief Choo Choo blew her whistle. The thieves were startled. The three thieves then climbed onto their horses and galloped away. The police team went after them, but since the thieves were on horseback, they managed to get away. Chief Choo Choo then blew her whistle again, and someone appeared in the sky. It was Detective Sharp Eyes, the police eagle. Chief Choo Choo told Detective Sharp Eyes about the thieves and asked for his help. At once, Detective Sharp Eyes flapped his wings and flew back to the sky to look for Gilly, Silly, and Connie. The three thieves had managed to get quite far ahead. They stopped at a secret spot in the forest, thinking no one would find them. But Detective Sharp Eyes scanned the entire forest and found Gilly, Silly, and Connie. Detective Sharp Eyes then flew back to inform Chief Choo Choo where the thieves were. Chief Choo Choo then planned what to do. Gilly, Silly, and Connie suddenly heard some strange sounds. They jumped onto their horses, but some ferocious looking lions appeared and roared loudly. And then to the thieves' surprise, the lions took their masks off. The Choo Choo TV police then took the sheep back to the farms. All the young shepherds were very happy. Thank you, Choo Choo TV police, said all the shepherds, as Detective Snarl kept a watch on the thieves. <gasps> <laughs> There was a factory in Scottsdale that made surprise eggs. All the surprise eggs were filled with the kids' favorite toys and candies. All the workers worked very hard to make the eggs. When the eggs were ready, a machine would wrap them up nicely and tie a ribbon around them. A factory worker would then store the eggs in a storeroom and another worker would count them. But one morning, when the workers came to the storeroom, they found all the eggs missing. They immediately sounded the alarm. All the workers
workers then rushed to meet the manager. The manager grew very worried about the eggs, and so he called the Choo Choo TV police. Chief Choo Choo and officers Chiku, Chica, and Cha Cha rushed to the factory. They spoke to all the security guards. They also looked around the storeroom. Chief Choo Choo spotted a security camera. The police team then watched the videos it had captured. The videos showed some thieves sneaking into the factory when the guards had dozed off. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. The thieves had entered the storeroom. They had taken the eggs away in a truck. The police team met the manager. They then came up with a secret plan to catch the thieves. Chief Choo Choo hid in a giant surprise egg. Officers Chica, Chiku, and Cha Cha hid in some other ones. The factory worker then kept all the giant eggs in the storeroom. That night, the thieves sneaked into the factory once again. They went into the storeroom and saw the giant surprise eggs. The thieves, whose names were Gilly and Connie, then took all the giant eggs away. Gilly and Connie took the eggs to their hideout. They showed them to their friends. All the thieves then took the giant eggs out of the truck. Suddenly, the eggs started to move and shake. The thieves got a fright and hid themselves. And then Chief Choo Choo and the officers jumped out of the eggs. All the thieves panicked and ran. Officer Chica and Chief Choo Choo leapt and caught Connie and Gilly. The other thieves threatened officers Chiku and Cha Cha. But then another surprise egg opened up. Inside was Detective Snarl, the police dog. All the thieves had been caught, thanks to the Choo Choo TV police. We are the police! Some of the kids who lived in Scottsdale had cute birds and animals as pets. Kids were very fond of their pets.
they played with them all day long. In the evening, the kids would take their pets home. They would then leave the pets alone in their houses so that they could get a good night's rest. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie grabbed the pets while the kids were asleep. They put the pets in surprise eggs and zoomed away. The thieves then went to a forest near Scottsdale. The next morning, the kids found their pets missing. And when they couldn't find the pets anywhere, they started crying. The kids' parents called the Choo Choo TV police. We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! Chief Choo Choo and officers Chiku, Chica, and Cha Cha rush to meet the kids. Chief Choo Choo then called Detective Sharp Eyes. He was the head of the birds who worked for the Choo Choo TV police. And Chief Choo Choo asked him to help find the pets. Detective Sharp Eyes quickly flew to his eagles. He told them about the mission. He then asked the eagles to form teams and fly in different directions. One team of eagles spotted Gilly and Connie with the pets. The other team found Silly and Johnny. Both teams flew back to Detective Sharp Eyes. They gave him a map with the thieves' location. Detective Sharp Eyes then flew back to Chief Choo Choo. He gave her the map and told her where and who the thieves were. Chief Choo Choo then arranged for some helicopters. She and all the officers then followed Detective Sharp Eyes to the forest. Soon, everyone spotted the thieves. They were riding bikes and had the surprise eggs with the pets. Chief Choo Choo and the others let down clamps from their helicopters and picked up all the eggs. whose names were Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie, tried to escape. 
But the Choo Choo TV police had other plans for them. The police team followed the thieves and pulled them into the helicopters. The Choo Choo TV police then took the pets back to the kids. All the pets were happy to be home. And all the kids were very happy to see them. All thanks to the Choo Choo TV police. Breaking news! The magical elephant is here. The magical elephant has colorful tusks with two huge surprise eggs on them and is giving gifts to kids who visit him. The whole city is rushing to see the magical elephant at the carnival. Don't you want to take your kids to the carnival? There was a magical elephant at the carnival in Scottsdale. All the kids were very excited to meet it. The magical elephant had surprise eggs on its tusks and was giving away exciting gifts to all the kids. All the kids were thrilled to meet this fascinating elephant. Some of them were even bringing it its favorite bananas as a treat. But there was someone else who was also very interested in the magical elephant. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. Later that night, Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie snuck into the carnival grounds. They tempted the magical elephant with a bunch of its favorite bananas. The thieves then led the magical elephant into a trap they had set up in a truck. The four thieves then took the magical elephant into a forest and put it into a deep pit. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie then built a fence around the pit to make sure the magical elephant didn't escape. The next morning, the magical elephant's caretakers were shocked to see it missing. Where has the magical elephant disappeared to? They wondered. Let's call the police, one of the caretakers said. He then dialed the Choo Choo TV police's number. Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha took the Choo Choo Power Mobile and the Choo Choo Power Cruiser and rushed to the carnival grounds. Where was the magical elephant seen last? Chief Choo Choo asked. The elephant's caretakers showed Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha the elephant's stall. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha saw the magical elephant's footprints and followed them out of the carnival grounds. Chief Choo Choo noticed that the elephant's footprints 
ended right where some tire tracks began. Hmm, Chief Choo Choo said. Looks like someone's taken the elephant away in a truck. Chief Choo Choo then called Officer Chiku. Officer Chiku came to help find the magical elephant in the Choo Choo Power Copter. She flew all over the forest, while Chief Choo Choo and Officers Cha Cha and Chica followed her around. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie were making plans to steal the gifts from the magical elephant's surprise eggs. Just then, they heard the sound of police sirens. Oh no, Johnny shouted, it's the police. All the four thieves then started chopping trees and branches to block the road and stop the police team from entering the forest. Chief Choo Choo and the others stopped to look at the trees and branches. Oh, Chief Choo Choo said, this is a trick. The thieves have chopped the trees and branches to stop us from going further. Chief Choo Choo then called Tool Master Cusley. Tool Master Cusley came very quickly in the Choo Choo mech at arms. He used it to clear up the trees and branches from the road. Chief Choo Choo then saw the pit and asked everyone to go further. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie were hiding in a treetop. The thieves have really troubled the magical elephant, Chief Choo Choo said. We'll catch them and teach them a lesson. Officer Chica brought the Choo Choo Fire at Arms forward. He aimed its hose at the treetop and shot out lots of icy cold water. Johnny and Silly yelled as the force of the water took them high up in the air and then dropped them on the ground. You're under arrest for stealing the magical elephant, Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chiku told Johnny and Silly as they handcuffed them. Officer Cha Cha then went after Gilly. Gilly ran all over the forest, but Officer Cha Cha followed him. Officer Cha Cha then shot an iron ball out of the power cruiser. It hit a huge rock that fell and blocked Gilly's path. You're under arrest, mister, Officer Cha Cha told Gilly. Chief Choo Choo and Toolmaster Cusley chased Connie all over the forest. Connie hid behind some bushes and was sure that he had given the police a slip. But Toolmaster Cusley found Connie and scooped him up with the mech at arms. Now all four thieves had been caught. Everyone then went to rescue the magical elephant. Officer Cha Cha fired fireballs from the power cruiser to knock the fence down. And Toolmaster Cusley dug up the ground to make a path for the magical elephant to climb out. But the magical elephant couldn't climb out of the pit on his own. I have an idea, Chief Choo Choo said. Let's tow the magical elephant out. Toolmaster Cusley reversed the mech at arms and brought it closer to the pit. Chief Choo Choo then made a lasso with a rope from the back of the truck. She then threw the lasso around the magical elephant's tusks. Toolmaster Cusley then drove forward and towed the magical elephant out of the pit. The magical elephant was very grateful to the Choo Choo TV police, and so it made some beautiful flowers for them. Thank you, Chief Choo Choo and the others said. Soon the magical elephant was back at the carnival, eating its favorite bananas and giving the kids gifts.